Hi and welcome to another Schoolbox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to create a new home page and thus a new folder in Schoolbox. So we're going to start by navigating to the resource browser which is located in the top navigation. Now each folder that you create in Schoolbox can optionally have a home page linked to it and this makes it easy to create new home pages. Uh, it's as simple as adding a new folder. And each home page uh, can have their own its own resources, components, and customizable user access. So we like to think of a home page as a way to extend the files and resources that you have in a folder. So once we've navigated to the resource browser, uh, then we're going to select the folder that we want to create a home page in. So I'm going to navigate to this sport folder and we're going to locate the add folder button in the right hand column and click add folder and that's going to bring us to the add folder interface. So we're going to start by giving this folder a name and then we're going to select a home page template. Note that if we select no home page, no home page will actually be created and we'll simply be creating a new folder. Now in this case I'm going to select extracurricular. Now these templates uh, that I just selected from, uh, they're, they're really just a, a, a predefined set of components. However, even after you've chosen one of these, you will be able to customize the new homepage components once the homepage has been created. So these are just guides. So next we're going to set up the actual group, system group permissions. So to enable anyone to view or edit an, the new home page and folder, uh, you're going to need to set these permissions. Uh, to do so, we're going to be selecting from none, read or write for each of the different system groups. These inherit uh, what the parent folder has. In this case, the parent is the sport folder. But just so that you are aware, uh, selecting none will ensure that users in this group and this home page can see uh, can, can neither see nor make changes to the home page. Uh, selecting read will uh, enable users to in this group to see but not make changes to the home page and obviously selecting write permissions will enable this group to both see and make changes to the home page. Now I'm going to ignore the individual permissions tab uh, but if you do check this checkbox, that will enable you to set permissions for individual users instead of using the system groups. Uh, but there's more information on our wiki on how to uh, do that uh, under managing groups. And I'm also going to skip over this subject code field uh, as this is an administrative only uh, field. So next we're going to click add folder and it's brought us back to the resource browser and if we locate down here we can see that it's now added that folder and we can also now see that this folder has a home page now to access that home page we're going to click view home page and that's going to take us to our new home page so that's all for this tutorial I hope that's been helpful and there's more information available on our wiki at wiki.schoolbox.com.au. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.